All right, beep, let's do this. First thing first, the name, L-U-I. Secondly, the game. It is the game of bodybuilding. Thirdly, <laughs> thirdly, the very subject of this video. An epic collision between two of the best Mr. Olympias we've ever had. Two different uh, eras, which were mixed in a sense. Dorian Yates versus Ronnie Coleman. Six times Mr. Olympia versus eight times Mr. Olympia. Why is it a mixed era? Because they both did battle versus each other. Although Ronnie Coleman at that time was not out of the oven, was not the final version of him. So when it comes to version, I have chosen 1993 as that of Dorian Yates for reasons I want to mention uh, in a few. Namely, uh, the biceps was still loyal. His left one was not damaged as of yet. He did injure it in a terrific uh, accident in 94. Incidentally, it was not even a biceps exercise. It was doing some rows. When it comes to Ronnie Coleman, the version I have chosen is Radder 1998 and also 1999 because in my reckoning, he was the best. Now, granted, the gym bros will tell me, bro, 2003, he was absolutely big and huge but i beg to disagree i think he was better more aesthetic more conditioned in earlier years so dorian yates will be mostly 93 although this picture is 95 most likely but roni will always go back to 98 and 99 he was just looking proper the midsection was still loyal the lines were okay he was not struggling to hold the pose so for the sake of uh, the best version of both of them i'll disregard the bubble 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 trouble gut or both of these guys and also i'll discard the 2003 big version of big rami uh big Ronnie for that matter because his gut was absolutely not loyal 97 of dorian yates was not loyal too he had some some sort of Dorianism going on. 1993, interesting picture right here. They were both doing battle versus the same gentleman, the Sultan of Symmetry, namely Flex Wheeler, right? You can see the same pose actually being done uh, five years later versus the same dude, Flex Wheeler. This time around, Ronnie Coleman is colliding uh, against him in the mole, uh, in the uh, abs and thighs. Uh, Flex was kind of happy actually when Dorian won in '93. He wasn't so happy when Ronnie won in '98 because he thought he's going to be the next Mr. Uh, Olympia. It did not happen. First uh, poses, uh, baby, please. It's going to be the front double biceps front double biceps this is the 93 version of yates as you guys can admire his biceps was still uh, legit it was not damaged but admittedly even when it was not injured you cannot see a peak it's just flat as flat as texas it is a very plateau both of them that on peak the belly is just not impressive and the tricep sweep there's nobody home there is nobody home there is no tricep sweep in the uh, front uh, double biceps. Granted, his forearms are crazy, one of the best ever, but by the rest, I'm not very impressed, quite uh, frankly, even by back then standards. It is a front double bicep, so you need to look at the whole body. Granted, midsection is just fine. These lats are impressive. The wheels, though, even back then, they were average at best. Average at best. So put him next to you know uh ronnie coleman and he gets smoked senseless senseless i mean look at the very contrast of what we have mentioned the biceps of this gentleman it is world class people dismissed to point it out as being a strength of ronnie coleman because the whole rest was also mesmerizing the legs were outwardly i mean the chest was big the back and so on and so forth so they disregard the biceps but i can tell you they're one of the best ever ever and in this department he takes this pose hands down the whole package is just more uh, impressive i mean the legs are bigger uh the the bicep tricep sweep is just taking its independence and so on 
and, and so forth. He will absolutely kill uh, Dorian Yates in this pose, no doubt about it. To recognize the 98 version, uh, Roni has some titties issue, right? So the titty, the left titty was not loyal, right? That's the 98 uh, version. But nonetheless, in the front double biceps, he kills Dorian Yates senseless. But then again, proceed, shall we? Uh, back double biceps uh, this time around. We can see a small picture here of Mr. Yates versus uh, uh, Sean Ray. Now, in his era, this was in 93, uh, you know, the, the lower portion of the body was not, uh, uh, I mean, regarded as being very important. I mean, we, granted, uh, they, ha they had to be a little bit more uh, defined and more conditioned down there than the Lee Haney era. Because in Lee Haney, they were pretty much fat asses by today's standards, right? And even by 90s standards, uh, Lee Haney was never showing his glutes as like in this fashion of Sean Ray and uh, Dorian Yates. And certainly the lower portion, namely the Hamis, baby please, were not that peeled, right? So Dorian uh, brought, a, brought that to a higher level. And you can see a contrast between him and Flex Wheeler, Flex was not known to be very conditioned downstairs, so he loses in a clear fashion uh, versus uh, Dorian Yates, right? But, but again, 98, I'm telling you guys, Ronnie Coleman just brought it. We have reached a new uh, dimension. A new frontier was absolutely breached, especially in the lower section. Look at the contrast. Look at the glute muscular development. This dude was doing some front lunges with four plates on each side. It was that uh, crazy. So those are the biggest, most conditioned, uh, basically glutes of any Mr. Olympia ever combined with some solid, crazy hamstring uh, development. So he kills him in that department. When it comes to the back itself, in, in this pose uh, in particular, the back double biceps, it can go both ways. If, if you tell me that Roni has the best back, it's okay. And if you tell me Dorian, it's, it's just fine. Both have crazy backs. Some say it's always one on two. I mean, if you, if you put the top five of the best backs ever, it's always Roni or Dorian at, at the top. But then again, the back double biceps is not only the back. There's also the arms that come into play. And again, from the back, the, the, the arms of Ronnie Coleman just smoke those of Dorian Yates senseless. I mean, look, Dorian Yates, they're not in, just, in, just impressive. I don't see a tricep sweep. The bicep peak is not loyal genetically. He sucked. And if you compare them to one of the best, to that of Ronnie, he would get destroyed in a nonsensical way. So the complete package, back double biceps, Ronnie will kill Dorian Yates any time of the day, any time of the week. And as a testament that Roni was, in my reckoning, the best in 98 and uh, 99, this is the evolution of his uh, back double biceps throughout uh, his eight-time uh, career wins of that Sandow. You can clearly see, at, uh, basically at the end, it was not that good. Uh, let's, let's take, for instance, 2004 right i mean the balance was just not there the symmetry was somehow destroyed the left side was becoming rather smaller underdeveloped compared to the right side which was just humongous right uh this applies to the back and also basically the shoulder was coming down in an awkward way as a matter of fact in his uh latest years especially in 2006 when he lost versus uh jay cutler his left back was literally melted it disappeared for whatever reason some say it was nerve damage i don't know nonetheless the, the first two years 98 99 just loyal just the best from every angle i mean look at the front he was not struggling to hold the pose bubble gut not even once so from the back mr dorian yates you get smoked by ronnie coleman although although you were beating him uh, before right so this was in 95 if i'm not mistaken ronnie was not out of the oven as of yet this guy was not even top six mr olympia ronnie coleman was an unknown guy coming from nowhere he was just a cop from texas coming to compete and nobody was seeing this guy 
coming strong. As a matter of fact, the first time me, I was impressed by Ronnie Coleman, it was in 1996, 1996, meaning still in the reign of, of Dorian Yeat, uh, two years prior of him winning the Sandow. I was impressed when he has beaten uh, Flex Wheeler and the Canadian Pro. I remember watching these pictures, uh, these pictures actually on Flex Wheeler. I said, wow, this guy is just good. He is calm and strong. Everybody was, was laughing. No, this guy is a nobody. As a matter of fact, I was remembering uh, the Flex uh, magazine French version. They were saying about Rui, they were saying, this guy is a mix of body parts, meaning he is just uh, random uh, muscular groups attached and they don't he doesn't look good right they were basically putting him down but I was absolutely uh, saluting him and from the back uh, he beats uh, Dorian Yates in the back double bicep absolutely uh, he will beat Dorian Yates the next pose though quite interesting this is the side triceps side triceps take home pose admittedly from for Dorian Yates it was a poster pose he get it so right it looks so aesthetic so complete he, the triceps are just humongous both heads separate and they take their independence they flow well and the midsection is also loyal it is also loyal he flexes it well whereas his foe ronnie coleman take any year bro he was not his best shot he was struggling to hold the pose he was just not fluid and the midsection was not tight some say it was just too big to hold it i don't know nonetheless it was not his take home post or versus dorian yates this time around he will lose the side triceps i give it to dorian yates but then again that was an another actually side pose namely <laughs> bro, bro 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 look at that side chest side chest Interestingly, in French, we call it biceps cage, right? So we, we name it as a biceps pose, as opposed to the English version, uh, they call it the side chest, right? Anyway, this was the big version, uh, the big orexia uh, uh, loving uh, people basically will salute this pose of Ronnie Coleman. You know the guys who go to the gym and call their gym buddies, Hey, big Mike or Big Tony or Big Jimmy. They love to have the big next to their name. It makes them feel good. So indeed, it was amazing when he was big. But me, I bring you back always to 98 and 99. I mean, look at that. This is 98. Just proper. This biceps is just a, an abnormal human growth that took its independence uh, from his shoulder. Look at it, coming at you. This is not Adobe, this is the real thing. Look at the triceps, how it comes. The brachialis, uh, baby please, and this muscle belly of that biceps, like a, a mountain peak, uh, for real, right? Throughout the ages, again, some might argue the bigger versions are the best. No, bro, I mean, when he was uh, smaller, tighter, uh, the arm just looked bigger. It was not out angled by uh, the rest of its body. Nonetheless, any any version, any uh, year, any day, uh, Ronnie Coleman just destroys Dorian Yeat again in the side uh, uh, side chest. No contest whatsoever. No contest. If you take a look at the chest, namely that of Dorian Yeat, it is granted conditioned. It is tight. But when it comes to the mus muscularity, two different realms, bro. I mean, two different ball games, not even the same league. Uh, he destroyed him. Ronnie kills him. And in the arm, uh, again, uh, Dorian was not known to have the craziest uh, biceps. And it just looked awkward in that sense. So Dorian will lose. Ronnie will take the side chest. But then again, proceed. Ha <laughs> ha. Shall we? Next pose, it is the abs and thighs abs and thighs any version of roni either small or big admittedly was not his take home pose for the simple fact he has a four pack and he was basically not tight in that uh, in that region didn't look good uh, and he was losing for, for instance as an example to to jay cutler 
it wasn't good. It wasn't a take home pose. Some say, well, I will say that in 98, it was better. It was still better, but not comparable to a, a poster pose of, of Dorian Yeh. Dorian was just ahead of everybody in that field. He was even killing Nasser as somebody in this pose. I mean, intercostals for days. I mean, they detached some intricate muscle groups coming together, creating this very solid gravity pose. Pose actually hard, hard to beat. So Dorian will take, in my reckoning, the abs and thighs of versus Ronnie Coleman. But then again, we arrive to a very uh, special, very strong pose this time around of Mr. Yates. Ha uh, ha, the shadow. You guys know the concept of V taper or whatever, you know, uh, those last looking like Vs. When uh, it comes to um, Dorian Yates, it's not even W, it's, even, it's like U's. They come, they took their independence from the torso and they create a wave in like a U fashion, right? As I mentioned um, countless times until today, when somebody has this pose by the book, that would say this guy looks Dorian-esque or these lads look Dorian-esque, meaning resembling that of Mr. Yates. They're just crazy. They're just absolutely outstanding. And in 93, no exception, on stage he killed uh, everybody. But then again, if I compare him to the best version, earlier years of Ronnie Coleman, this was uh, actually in 99, right? You can see it in different contrast. He was like a thousand million dollars, aka a billion dollars for that matter. I prefer this version, more complete. He was not struggling to hold the pose as a testament throughout his evolution. Look, he was struggling to hold the freaking pose in uh, in 04. Same goes in 03. It started to, to be messy actually in, in uh, 2000. As a testament, a bigger picture. Look at him, he looks like a frog here not saluted he was just too big if i compare this version of him to dorian yates he will lose again i repeat the frog front let spread version of ronnie coleman will lose next to uh, dorian yates because dorian was very very strong hard hard uh, to beat in this pose but as we said from the get-go we need to take the best version of each and the best version of Ronnie Coleman is either 98 or 99 like this one. Again, front lat spread. We don't look only at the, at the lats. Both are good. Dorian's are, are the best. Uh, the, the lats, when it comes to the lats themselves, Dorian's are more developed. They come, they they just go away like, like freaking wings, like a freaking Boeing 747. But the pose is complete. The whole body needs to be looked at. The wheels. The wheels, we know that the wheels of Dorian Yates, they're average at best, even by his time standards. He was being killed by uh, the likes of uh, of uh, even Sean Ray. There were more details in Sean Ray, Nasser El Sambari, for sure, and Jurassic Paul uh, uh, Dillat. When it comes to Ronnie Coleman, we're talking about uh, arguably uh, the best wheels uh, when it comes to the size and condition we have seen lately, only rivaled by those of Big Grammy that just came in a few years ago. But in his time, we never seen such a uh, development, not only the strongest, but also the biggest. So if I can buy that with looking at the arms, how the chest flows and whatnot, I will give this pose again to Ronnie Coleman. Yes, Ronnie Coleman will beat Dorian Yates in the front last spread, if we take the best version of both, namely 98 or 99 uh, of Ronnie versus any any year of, of, of Dorian, uh, uh, he will win. But then again, proceed, haha, -ha, shall we? We arrived this time around to a very special uh, pose or rather uh, posies, uh, baby, please, because it can be done in several fashion. We're talking about the most muscular pose in this uh, version. It is the crab uh, pose done by Mr. Ronnie Coleman this time around again. Uh, this was 98, right? Another fashion with the hands on the waist, 98 always, and uh, with joined hands. So we can see uh, that Ronnie is versatile. He has a diversity of ways of, of doing it. 
uh, right we can see also the evolution of this gentleman jim bros will always salute 2003 me i don't salute that much because the bubble 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 trouble good bonanza chop it down like a belly dancer it was not loyal it was absolutely oil so i prefer all the earlier years uh for sure his foe was mostly known to do this one the joined hand it was saturated it was granity it was looking okay each time he tried a variation of this most muscular pose like like this or the crap pose not to be saluted not to be saluted looking it looks bad it's just bad not world class and for that matter he did not do it uh, that often i mean versus uh you know nasser al somebody i think he tried it once and then he did not do it again because it just looked bad it looks bad uh, there is no separation between um, the shoulders and the tricep. That bicep is just just a mess. Doesn't look good. Uh, injury, not injury, he was not look good. So uh, his best shot is the joined uh, hand. But then again, uh, it is an intricate and complete pose. We cannot disregard uh, the, the the wheels. We cannot disregard that Ronnie Coleman is more versatile. He does it in several fashion. It looks bigger, more impressive. And even if I compare this one here, the joint hand versus that of Ronnie Coleman, namely this one, Ronnie will take it, more bellies, more sweeps, and so on. So this one will go to uh, Ronnie Coleman for several reasons uh, we have uh, mentioned. This time around, though, we arrive to a solid pose again of uh, Mr. Uh, Yates. Uh, probably a poster pose. If you um, Google back lat spread you would stumble uh, probably on this picture or rather this one which was few weeks before same year 1993 uh this was you know the famous uh black and white photo shoot uh dorian dorian back is uh, legendary the back itself if we separate this muscle group from the other body parts uh in my reckoning it's the best back ever right number one is Dorian Yates when it comes to the back number two is Ronnie Coleman just the back because it is more developed um, it, the, the lats go wider um, usually is more conditioned and um, the uh, the mid actually uh, traps are just massive they come at you they're just overgrown in a sense I might argue they're just too big these uh, basically uh, um, uh, traps and of course he had a solid uh, a Christmas tree right so if we compare him to uh, Flex Wheeler this was in uh, 93 he has beaten everybody I do recall Sean Ray talking about that tree he said this guy came and killed uh, everybody so let's put him next to uh, Ronnie uh, Coleman again as I said if we separate just the backs just the backs I still have Dorian ahead slightly but, but ahead we're talking debatably and arguably number one and number two backs ever some prefer that of Roni, some prefer that of dorian i personally go with dorian when it comes solely to the back but this pose is not only the backs bros not only the backs it is the whole package the whole package let's forget about the upper body and cut off these guys just in in the downstairs area you cannot deny that Roni is just light years, light years ahead. He went to the, the, the star Betelgeuse and settled there. He's just in another realm. These glutes are outwardly. I mean, the way they attach to uh, to the hammies, baby, please, is just alien-like. So he kills uh, Dorian Yates because Dorian Yates was doing enough for his era, but uh, Mr. Roni Coleman brought it to a different level now granted uh, the back uh, of dory as i mentioned usually it's more conditioned looking harder uh, more uh, granity uh, and so on and so forth but Roni is not that far it's not that far so uh, again this pose i will give it to Roni by a hair by a hair because it is still a very solid pose of dorian yates but the the, the lower section it's a deal uh, a breaker uh, for uh, Ronnie Coleman. I mean, it just attached and looks just freaky. Those glutes cannot be dis dismissed. As a matter of fact, last time I checked, I think that uh, the biggest muscle group in the human anatomy it is the glutes, not the quads or, or the lats and things like that, right? So even though 
it was a solid pose of, of Dorian Yates. He was killing everybody in his era. When I put him uh, next to Ronnie Coleman, I'll give it to Ronnie by a slight advantage. And it goes uh, to Ronnie. I'm sorry, Mr. Yates. So as the synthesis, uh, baby please, of all these poses, the final result, the final debate would be Ronnie always winning. He will win versus Dorian Yates. Ronnie won this compare two uh, very close eras uh, only separated pretty much by five years of which uh, I mean these guys are the same age pretty much like uh, I think Doreen is a year older not that much but they they peaked in uh, different in different times like five years apart the best version of Ronnie Coleman will always win versus the best version of Dorian Yates. That's what time it is. That's my take on it. Don't forget to, to like the video. Tell me what you guys think about. Do you agree with the LUI that Ronnie Coleman uh, in his best day will beat Dorian Yates in the same best day? Shoot you whatever you is on a daily basis, baby, please.